Welcome to the stories and the history of our neighborhoods. In this video we will look into the history of Shaker Heights, Ohio. Shaker Heights began with the North Union Shaker community. The Shakers were an ultra-religious community, who called themselves the Believers. They were founded by Mother Anne Lee who came to America from England in 1774, and symbolized the second coming of Christ in a female form. They gave up their worldly goods, did not marry, and practiced celibacy. The North Union Shakers were one of the last 19 Shaker communities, and were established in 1811 by Jacob Russell. Russell was a veteran of the Revolutionary War. After the war, he purchased 475 acres of land in the Connecticut Western Reserve area of Northeast Ohio. The land was located in the Upper Doan Brook Valley. Russell's moved his family of 20 from their home in Connecticut to this new western wilderness. It was Russell's son, Ralph, that actually became a Shaker. He then introduced the new religion to his family. They established the new Shaker community on the Russell property. Over the years, more families in the area converted to the religion, and the community grew. They continually purchased more land, increasing the property to 1,366 acres. By 1850, the North Union Shakers reached its maximum growth of 300 members. They were a self-supporting community, making a good income selling canned fruits and vegetables, wool and linen goods, medicinal herbs, baskets, brooms and furniture. The Shakers sold quality products, and were very honest in their business dealings, which won them an enviable reputation. The Shakers built a woolen, and a stone mill, and both were placed at the Shaker Lakes, which were powered by the water. The farmers in the surrounding communities brought their grains to the stone mill to have it ground there. After the Civil War, the Shaker community went into a severe decline. People were no longer interested in being part of this strict religious movement that insisted on celibacy. The Industrial Revolution also brought a great change in how Americans purchased and consumed products. Mass-made items were cheaper and more plentiful than handmade products, and the Shakers simply could not compete. By 1889 only 27 members remained, and the North Union Shakers disbanded. In 1905 the Van Swery Gen brothers Oris and Mantas Van Swery Gen purchased the North Union property for $1 million, with the intention of developing the area into what would become Shaker Heights Village. The Van Swery Gen brothers, or better known as the Vans, grew up on a farm in Worcester, Ohio and moved to Cleveland in 1890. They were always inseparable throughout their lives, always living and working together. They started their careers working for the Bradley Fertilizer Company and soon moved into a career in the real estate business. The Van Swery Gens built railroads and became one of the great railroad barons. They wanted to create a union station in Cleveland to rival the ones that were built in New York City, and so they proposed and then built the Terminal Tower on Public Square in the center of Cleveland. The Terminal Tower became the tallest building in North America outside of New York from the time it was opened in 1930 to 1964, when the Sears Tower opened in Chicago. The van's vision for Shaker Heights Village was to have a garden community that looked similar to Baltimore's Roland Park. They used a combination of excellent urban planning and design review along with the convenience of being close to Cleveland's urban center. They utilized the topography of the area, adding boat docks to the Shaker Lakes and creating parks throughout the beautiful woods. They designated specific locations for apartments, commercial spaces, public schools and also churches. The new residents of the community built magnificent homes and mansions throughout the city. A large tract of land was transferred for use to the Shaker Heights Country Club which opened in 1915. In 1916 the vans constructed the Shaker Rapid Line. This enabled easier transportation for the citizens of the village to travel into Cleveland. All of this development helped make the village of Shaker Heights one of the most desirable communities in Cleveland. In 1920, Shaker's population was 1700 people. By 1931, when Shaker Heights was incorporated as a city, the population increased tenfold to nearly 18,000 people. The city grew exponentially every year and by 1963 Shaker Heights was considered to be one of the wealthiest communities in the entire country. 
The positive reputation of Shaker Heights continues to this day. It is often cited as a model city for its transportation, its housing, recreation, shopping, education and government. It is a very diverse community. The integration efforts in the city go back to the 1950s when residents of the Ludlow Elementary School area came together to promote and manage African-American assimilation. More positive initiatives were launched in the 1970s and these initiatives helped Shaker Heights avoid many of the issues associated with blockbusting and white flight. Some famous residents of Shaker Heights include Paul Brown, the first coach of the Cleveland Browns, and owner of the Cincinnati Bengals. Musician Jim Brickman. Comedian Andy Borowitz. Three former conductors of the Cleveland Orchestra including George Zell, Lauren Marzell, and Christoph von Doheny. TV news anchor, Russ Mitchell. Rapper, Machine Gun Kelly. Congresswoman Marsha Fudge. Musicians Eddie, Gerald and Sean LaVert. Al Lerner, the former owner of the Cleveland Browns. Peter Ostrom, child star who played Charlie in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Harvey P. Carr, comic book writer. Greg Pruitt, Cleveland Browns running back. Geraldo Rivera, Fox News and talk show host. Comedian Molly Shannon. Rabbi Abba Hillel Silva. Famous chef, Michael Simon. Comedian Fred Willard. Actress Kim Whitley. Actor David Wayne. Housewives of Atlanta star Cherie Whitfield. And, actor Paul Newman. The majority of the magnificent homes in Shaker Heights are listed on the National Register of Historic Places. In a March 2019 study, Shaker Heights was named the 12th best suburb in the United States and in 2020 was named the number one best place to live in the Cleveland area. If you are visiting Shaker Heights, these are some of the places you need to see. Go to the Shaker Lakes and visit the spectacular Nature Center. Learn more about the city's history at the Shaker Historical Society. Take a hike in the woods of Horseshoe Lake Park. Have a meal at the Van Aken Shopping District, and stroll down along Shaker and South Park Boulevards to see the beautiful mansions and gardens. You'll see for yourself just what makes Shaker Heights so unique and such a grand part of Cleveland history. We hope you enjoyed this video on the history of Shaker Heights, Ohio. If you liked this video then please subscribe to our channel so you can get notification of when we drop more content.